Hello, what's up everyone? My name is Aiden Gay and welcome back to Animal Facts. Animal Facts, Facts about Animals, Animal Facts, Facts about Animals. Today I want to talk to you about a certain group of animals and that will be marsupials. Marsupials, in case you aren't aware, is a mammal of an order whose members are born incompletely developed and are typically carried and suckled in a pouch on the mother's belly. Marsupials are found mainly in Australia and New Guinea, are both, although three families, including the opossums, live in America. They have three, three vaginas and two uteri, uh -huh. which would be horrible because that means triple the periods, apparently, and that sounds like death and tragedy and just awfulness. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Since I'm really bad at pronouncing half of these names, we're going to turn it into a game. I'm going to pour myself. It's not going to be, oh, that's huge. This is probably like three or five shots worth right here. I'm pouring myself a little bit of drink and every time I mispronounce a word, I will take a shot. I'm wearing my, I kept my pajamas on because I was drinking champagne earlier today and I just thought it was fitting to keep it because it says past the bubbly. Fitting. Okay, down to our animals. First, we have, and I love these, I used to have a little stuffed animal. Wait, no, it was a stuffed baby. It was just a baby, but I called it Joey. Because that's what kangaroos, that's what lots of marsup other marsupial babies are called jellies too. They're so freaking cute. I found the facts that I like the most out of marsupials. So it's not our mar all marsupials. And I kept the list to seven because I am in the middle of smoking ribs. And I don't want to get wasted and fall asleep and screw them up and light my world on fire. Finding a lot of cool facts about animals have to do about like female animals because animals are, are females are amazing in any species. Female kangaroos can determine the se sex of their offspring. They can even delay gestation when environmental factors are likely to diminish the chance of young surviving. So it's, I guess if something ends up with the environment or where they are or stuff going on, they can just like hold off the baby making process for a little bit and then they grow slower. That's what I think <laughs> it means. Like all marsupials, kangaroos are born extremely early, the equivalent of the seventh week of pregnancy for humans. This is little premature babies, premature joeys. They travel from the birth canal as little more than an embryo by blindly propelling through the mother's fur to the safety of the pouch, where they will spend several months developing before finally leaving to explore the world. Oh, and then I thought this was really cute because I was just picturing it in my head. So young kangaroos, well, jo joeys, will sometimes jump headfirst into the mo mother's pouch when frightened. And I'm just picturing like a little kangaroo like, and then like somersaulting and like, Diving in head first into the pouch like cute little cartoon characters. Okay, next koalas, cute but deadly, just like me. In captivity, they exhibit more lesbian behavior than straight, and this confused me because wouldn't that imply that all koalas are female? Okay, koalas in captivity, they exhibit more lesbian behavior than straight. Sexual encounters have been known to involve up to five females. Koalas by freaking. They last twice as long as heterosexual encounters. So they have long, thoughtful lesbian orgies. 50 to 90% of female koalas have chlamydia. The symptoms in koalas are chest infections, conjunct Conjunctitis, conjunctivitis. Add wet bottom, which looks like you would imagine. Interesting fact about koalas and chlamydia. I read 
that they think chlamydia has something to do with keeping like a good Ebola population at a good amount because they introduce koalas that couldn't get chlamydia and they would just like duplicate and there would be so many koalas that it would they would eventually kill all of the trees and uh, die of starvation because there would be too many and they would overtake the um, environment and the habitats and ever it would just break down because of it so chlamydia is kind of a good thing in koalas because it keeps the population from being too high and destroying the environment, I guess. Killing all the trees. We kill enough trees. So that's interesting though. That same types of like S what are they called now? STIs. Can are like like even colds can get passed from you to your dogs, apparently. It's just not exactly the same. Okay, this one is known to be extinct, I think, but I thought it looks really freaking creepy, so I'll show you a picture of that right away. I'm gonna have to drink right again for this one. Again, I don't know how these are supposed to be pronounced, but I'm just assuming I'm pronouncing them wrong. Thylacine, 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 thylacine. Thylacine got got the nickname. Okay, wait. Do I have to take it every time I pronounce that same word? Uh, excuse me. Got the nickname the Tasmanian tiger or the Tasmanian wolf because it looked like and acted like a strange combination of the two animals. As marsupials, however, they were only distantly related to felines and canines, and their jaws could open to 120 degree angle. I'll try and get a, I'll get a picture of their jaws opening because it reminded me of the alien guys in Resident Evil movies, who's not like the dogs when their mouths open up like that, except their mouths obviously don't have five jaws and they just have one jaw, so they just go like that. But it's like, and that reminds me of those monsters. Next, Tasmanian Devils. I was obsessed with the Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes when I was little. I loved it so much. I had so many things like t-shirts and stuff with Tasmanian Devil on it. And I just, I love that. Tasmanian Devil and Eeyore, those were like my two favorites. And pigs, I love pigs and I still love pigs. Tasmanian Devil. I couldn't find a lot of cool facts about some of these animals, but there's still facts about them, and I love the animals, so that's why I put them in here. They are the largest carnivorous marsupials in the world. Oh, and they store fat in their tails. So a good way to find a healthy Tasmanian devil is you look at its tail, and it has a plump, a plump tail. It's healthy. They have the most powerful, powerful bites in... Bites in the world. It's estimated to be around 545 kilograms per square inch. They can open their jaws to 75 to 80 degrees. It's a lot of degrees, man. Quokas. I'm going to say I pronounced that right. Not because I don't want to drink more, but because I think I pronounced, pronounced that right. And I did not just pronounce pronounce wrong. That doesn't count. Call me cheater if you want. They are described as being the world's happiest animals. If <laughs> This is super relatable. One of my fears, if I have kids of my own. Or just kids. I don't have any kids. I have I have I have kids. I have two sons. Their names are Buck and Blue and they're both shepherds. I gave birth to them over my butt. 
If a quokka mother is threatened by a predator, she will often throw her baby on the ground to distract the predator and save her own life. I mean, I'm not going to comment on that because then everyone's going to say that I'm a horrible human being, which I'm only like half a horrible human being. I'm getting better every day. <laughs> Wombats! Wombats! I don't know if I said this already, but most of these animals are from Australia. Um, you can find some of them in other places, but I wasn't specifically looking for things in Australia, but it is. I also think I'm going to do like specific like countries, animals from specific countries. That could be neat. Wombat. Their pouches face backwards. That was, oh yeah, this was actually kind of interesting. They got butt, butt pouches. <laughs> They aren't the only ones, am I right? Their butt, I don't know what that means. Their butt pouches face backwards. The pouch opens towards her rear rather than her face. This allows them to dig without covering their babies with dirt. They have super powered rumps as first line of defense, made mostly out of cartilage. Cartilage. Damn it. I know how to spell that. I mean, I know how to speak that. Sorry, there's nothing in there anyways. Mostly made out of cartilage, a group of wombats is called the Wisdom. They have cube-shaped poop. Those are two separate facts, but I read them like they were one. I thought it was really cool that a group of wombats is called the Wisdom. That's like super beautiful and fantastical, mythereal. I was going to say that at first, but it's ethereal. Damn it, I got it wrong. Okay. I only have one more animal up, and it's only one in the afternoon. So I think I have a lot of time to straighten myself out. I need to take a big shot. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to pronounce this word. Oh no, not that. I don't care if you guys call me a pussy. This is my breakfast. See? Diprotodon, deprotodon, diprotodon, deprotodon, diprotodon. There's only two ways to sell it, to say it, to say it, sell it, say it, fuck, see this is the thing, the more I drink, the harder it is to pronounce the words, my boyfriend's not happy that I'm doing this, oh well, Also known as the giant wombat was the largest marsupial that ever existed. I think they are extinct or almost extinct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure they don't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure we would all know about them if they did. The giant wombat. They, that reminds me of the, oh, what are they called? In Princess Brides. And then go into the forest with the giant rats or whatever, maybe there's giant wombats, whatever those are, that's what I would think that it would be like. Adult males measure up to 10 feet from head to tail and weighed upward of 3 tons. That seems very heavy and I could totally lift that because I'm strong as a mother clucker. That's all the things I have for you right now. I think I'm probably going to make a video about birds in an hour and as an aftermath video with birds. Cheers, we'll finish this just because I'm not going to throw it out and it's like half a shot. Not even. <sighs> if 
that was horrible. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.